Hey guys, welcome to another day, another video. So today I have a couple of problems to work with you based on ratio and proportion. So let's start it. If A is to B, that is the ratio of A and B is 5 by 8, then the value of 6A minus 5B upon A plus 2B is, these are your four options. So what exactly the value will turn out to be? Let's start this problem. So what is given to us is A is to B is 5 by 8. That means A upon B is 5 by 8, right? Now, what we have to find out is something associated to 6A minus 5B, the value of actually 6A minus 5B upon A plus 2B, right? And we got to use the given thing that A by B is 5 by 8. So how we can do it? You consider this expression. Let's divide throughout by B. So this is same as saying 6 times A upon B minus 5. B upon B, that gives you just 5. A upon B plus 2. B upon B gives you 2. In other words, we can also say that we have just taken B common, okay, from numerator and denominator. So, B cancels and this is what we are left with. That's it. Once we have this, it's very simple. So, all we have to do is just put the value of A by B, which is 5 by 8. So, you get 6 into 5 by 8 minus 5. Again, 5 by 8 plus 2. So, this will give you... 30 upon 8, that is 30 minus 40 upon 8, whole thing upon 5 plus 16 upon 8, right? So clearly the answer is minus 10 upon 21 because 8, 8 cancels out and this is what you get, which is one of the options. Uh, let's check. Do we have an option? Minus 10 upon 21 is the D option. So D option is the correct option. Let's work on another question of this of similar type. So suppose we are given that the ratio of X plus Y and X minus Y is equal to 11 upon 1. Then you we have to find out what would be 5x plus 3y upon x minus 2y. Let's find out. So how we can probably work in this question? Uh, let me use something specific here. These are the options given to you. Let's use something specific here. So what are we given? We are given that we have x plus y upon x minus y. So this is your numerator. This is your denominator. Okay. I would want you to recall... Uh, recall the method of creating componendo and dividendo. Componendo and dividendo. Basically, creating componendo dividendo means that you are using numerator plus denominator upon numerator minus denominator. So, here it will be x plus y plus x minus y upon x plus y minus x minus y. So, we will be using competendo and dividendo on both sides. So, since we have x plus y upon x minus y equal to 11 upon 1. So, this becomes numerator is 11, denominator is 1 on right hand side. So, this becomes 12 upon 12 that is 11 plus 1, 11 plus 1 upon 11 minus 1 that is 12 upon 10. Or in other words, I can say that this is uh, 6 upon 5, right? Now what we have to find out is 
we have to find out another ratio which is which is of uh, it's 5x plus 3y upon x minus 2y x minus 2y now, use the same method as in the previous question. You can take y in common or basically dividing throughout by y. So, that gives you 5x five, five by y plus 3 upon x by y minus 2. This is same as this. Okay. So, here we can just make use of this 6 by 5. How will I make use of the 6 by 5? Now, what I have not done yet is I have not simplified this. Now, you simplify it. Y, Y cancels, so you get 2X. Now, here X, X cancels and you get plus 2Y. So, that means what you basically have is that X upon Y, this entire thing implies x upon y is 6 by 5. So wherever you have x by y, you will write down 6 by 5 and get the result. So we are getting here 6 plus 3 upon 6 minus 10 by 5. So that is 9 upon minus 4 by 5. So 5 goes here. So it's 45 upon 4 with a minus sign. Which definitely is one of the options. Yes, it is option D minus 45 upon 4. So it's option D. This is how you have to work in the questions which are related to ratio and proportion. With some manipulation, you will use the given information in order to find out the information that is that they're asking in the question. I hope this will help.